Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Jonathan Davis, frontman for Corn, was just on with us. And in finishing up my statements on that, getting into Hollywood, 90% of war is psychological. And you see how weaponized Hollywood is. You see the, the anti-family, anti-liberty propaganda. But you're also seeing more and more pro-liberty information in so many movies, so many films. Man of Steel uh, had an anti-eugenics message, a decentralization message. I just went and saw Nut Job. It has an anti-Agenda 21 message. I went and saw a Lego movie, extremely libertarian. I'm not going to give it away. My son's going to do a review soon. I think he's going to come in one day this week, trying to get that all scheduled right now. I mean, it's just so many movies I go and see now actually have good messages. And that's because I happen to know some of the people involved. They are trying to sneak through what they can. And as long as it's not too overt, the old ruling elite of Hollywood won't shut them down. Plus, pro-liberty type ideas sell more tickets. Doing the right thing actually pays historically. That's what evil people don't get, or those that sell out to evil. Evil people tend to get it. They want to run it. But when I say 30 35% of how Hollywood is hardcore libertarian or conspiracy theorist is another way to say it. 
My point is that's the growing political group. If you're a Republican, they go after you and destroy you. Everybody's sick of being a Democrat and being under that thumb and the Democratic royalty. Michael Moore and Matt Damon and, you know, just all of those people, uh, George Clooney and Sumner Redstone and, and, and just all of it. People are sick of it. And it's that close to collapsing. Oh, that's very conservative numbers. I I've gone to Hollywood parties where everyone was aware of the New World Order and very upset about what's going on. And most of them were listeners and talked my ear off about all these different, you know, quote, conspiracies and, and, and questioning the system. Then I've been to others where half the people are awake. Um, it's amazing. But when you get in these really high-level meetings, they're just point blank about it. Only liberal politics is allowed here. That's what we push. And it is an entrance fee to the door. And so Americans need to know that. That's why when somebody like Corn comes on, or Dave Mustaine comes on, or Billy Corrigan comes on, or you know my friend Jimmy Vaughn years ago popping on the show, he's just too shy to come on, whoever, that you have to know that there is a political price to pay. Well, the price is way too big to pay if we don't turn this around and stop it. And when the first few people start going public, it will cause a domino effect. But it's time for all these celebrities who are out there who can really affect change to show the world that Hollywood isn't a bunch of kleptocratic authoritarians that call themselves liberals. It's time for you to show the world who you really are. They're not going to be able to shut down everybody. I guarantee if you had 35, 40, 50 percent of Hollywood come out and say, I'm a libertarian, I'm a conspiracy theorist, I'm a, I'm a constitutionalist, I'm a conservative, they couldn't get rid of half the people there. And that whole system's already beginning to collapse right now anyways. That's another reason more of the truth is able to come out now. So again, it's another sign that the establishment is not all powerful and is not invincible. So we salute Jonathan Davis and Korn for their contribution uh, overall to that. And, and everyone else who wants to stand up against corruption and evil. We need police officers, military people, school teachers, lawyers, bureaucrats, farmers, people that work in a machine shop. I don't care who you are. Secretaries, all of you are important. The little things you do every day will change the world. That's why they want you to just go home, watch TV, live in their false paradigm, only repeat what they put out, distract you from the whole universe of reality around you with a little television box. I'm here on television on a self-made, people-built platform that the system's trying to shut down right now. They want us all lined up in little Obamanoid uniforms and then when they bring out that puppet and bring in some new puppet and we all line up and get into the next fad that is just a new tyrant dressed up in a different uniform and i know obama's a puppet but he's the puppet who is the front man and and and, and the cult of personality around which the power structure has organized this entire system we have a desperately dumbed down population Desperately. Desperately. One in four, new study out last week we covered, doesn't know that the Earth orbits the sun. Most people can't list any of the Bill of Rights on the street. Most people can't list the three branches of government. That's a man on the street. Go out and get people to list the three branches of government. And if they can do it, we'll give them $10. And we'll give them $100 if they can list the legislative, executive, and judicial if they can say what each one of them's basic function is. That means judicial is the courts, executive is the presidency, legislative is the Congress. Maybe go out and give people $100 if they can tell you what the 10th and 9th Amendment are. This is basically the same thing. 
The Ninth Amendment's a super Tenth Amendment. Probably the most important thing. The Ninth Amendment is like the Declaration of Independence recast. <coughs> Speaking of people being desperately dumbed down, here's Mark Dice's latest video that's up on Infowars.com. Students fail to name any of the Bill of Rights. Shame on you, American youth. Has no clue about their own freedoms. And I'll guarantee you these people are all super trendy Democrats. Look, look, it's just true. Democrats are the dumbest, most pack-oriented, mindless people I've ever run into. That doesn't mean they're all idiots. The higher level ones are predators feeding on people. But, man, these young people, man, they don't know how to change a tire. They don't know where electricity comes from. They don't know. They basically would walk in a grocery store and, and just think meat appears in plastic containers. I mean, I, they are literally like gerbils that have had their eyes poked out and their ears poked out and their legs chopped off. I mean, they're just flopping around. They can't even, I mean, it, it, is, it is unspeakable how helpless and dumb they are and how the system is doing everything it can to exacerbate I mean, you watch this video, and I've told Mark on and off air, it's time to say, shame on you, you're scum, and he's finally doing it. And that's good. And, and, and I, I, I got great reporters, but I'm gonna, I gave him a little pep talk today, and I said, look, I want you to go out, just like we went out and did a piece on going abort people's children after they're born. That didn't get picked up in the news, but then a bunch of other universities and people did it, and it became a national story. Our job is to get other people to emulate our system of success. Just like Mark emulated me eight, nine years ago, we now emulate him. Success breeds success. It's the same deal. We don't territorialize taking down the new world order. We all work together because we have no future if we don't do that. And I want to see people all over the country go out and do your own man on the street and put it on the internet to shame these ignorant ignoramuses. I want to see people go to city council in Austin this week with Time Magazine. That's like their God. Hold up Time Magazine. The article's free online. Five chemicals brain damaging children. There's the headline. Children exposed to more brain harming chemicals than ever before. Goes on to say fluorides reducing IQs. And go in there and say, listen, you're on notice. You know this is brain damaging people. Take it out and then sue them. Go get a lawyer to sue the city. They don't have immunity from forced medication and secret experimentation. In fact, I'm going to sue the city of Austin. I'm so busy, and I don't like to make lawsuit threats. But I, you know what? I'm, I, that, you know what? That's it. I'm going to get a lawyer, and I'm going to sue him. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. And I think I'm going to sue Lee Leffingwell. I, I'll, I'll tell you this. Take it on advisement. I'm going to send Lee Leffingwell a letter. I got to get the right lawyer first. My lawyer's so good, he won't even take all my cases. He'll get me the lawyer for the case. I need an environmental law or civil rights lawyer. Because I've been to those city council meetings where that guy laughs at everybody. We have scientists there. I've just had enough of it, man. Oh, man, I tell you. You're going to poison me, you bastard. And then you're going to laugh about it, you sack of, you know what? And I don't like to use non-King's English here on air, but man, sometimes you just want to say it. Only the word counts. I mean, you are a sack of crud. You and the political establishment, you make me want to throw up. And by the way, I want all these people on notice in every city so that when we take this government back and all the documents come out about their program of eugenics, which they've written books on it, you people are going to be held accountable. They really hate us so much, they sit back and join the bone cancer and the brain damage and all the rest of it. I take it real personal. We should do man on the street right now about, did you know Time Magazine even admitted it lowers IQ? Why is it still in the water? Why aren't you doing something about it? We need to challenge the public to go out and take action against this. We need to get aggressive in the defense of liberty. You do, out there watching. I don't want to have this fight and just do it halfway. Let's go all the way, folks. That's why I admire what Corn's doing. Let's go to Mark Dice's report. Here it is. We're talking about the Bill of Rights today. Can you name some of the Bill of Rights? Dude, I have to go take a quiz. 
I'm quizzing you right now. I'm quizzing you right now. I guarantee you this quiz.